Hello students, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to discuss operating system fragmentation. This is very important topic for your examination. So we will start with the introduction of fragmentation, its different types and along with this we will also discuss some practice MCQs that will help you score good marks in your examination. So let's start the session. So first of all, you should know the meaning of fragmentation. So basically in any operating system, fragmentation is an unwanted problem with operating system's memory. In simple terms, we can say that fragmentation is nothing but it is, it is the wastage or loss of memory. It is the wastage or loss of memory in your operating system. Right? So this is very important statement. Also, fragmentation is a free, unused space, unused space in your computer memory. Right? Let's take an example here. Let's say this is my main memory. The data is stored here in the block format. Okay. Process P1, P2. P3, P4 and P5 are there. We have one unused space here. This particular space in operating system is known as fragmentation. The reason behind this, I have process P6. I want to allocate, I want to give process P3, sorry, I want to give process P6 this particular space but it is not possible. Why? Because let's say the size of process P6 is 10 KB and the unused space here is 5 KB. So the size of the block of your main memory is smaller that no new process can fit here. So that's why this particular section get fragmented. So in operating system, the fragmentation is a free unused space in the memory or this is the wastage or loss of memory. I hope everything is clear till now with this with the help of this example. Okay. In your computer, in your computer whenever we store anything, whenever we want to save any process, it is directly, it is directly moved to the main memory. Okay, and main memory always store the data in form of, in the form of some blocks, right? Whenever the size of block is smaller, that new, that no new process can be added here or, or it is not possible to swap any old process in this particular space. Then this particular space, this particular block get unused and it is called the fragmentation in operating system. Okay. So fragmentation is basically a wastage or loss of memory because at that particular space we cannot we cannot uh, reuse, we cannot allot any process to that particular space and next process ki demand par bhi hum us particular space ko istemal nahi kar pa rahe hai. Okay? So we have two types of fragmentation. Two types of fragmentation are internal and external. So whenever we talk about internal fragmentation, this problem occurs when a process is allocated, when a process is allocated more memory, allocated more memory than it wants. And free space is left, free space is left unused. Let's take an example first. This is, let's say, my memory space. I have one process P1. Okay. Size of process P1 is 10 KB, but the available memory size is 20 KB. Now, the process is allocated more memory than it wants. Process P1 wants only 10 KB space, but it is allocated 20 KB. So, extra 10 KB 
extra free space is left unused so 10k bhi yahan par use nahi hoga this is called internal fragmentation that we have much space for other processes but our operating system allocated some processes with extra with more memory then it wants that is the internal fragmentation okay next we have is external fragmentation so external fragmentation says that it occurs when blocks of memory are there let's say this is our uh, blocks of memory we have two blocks of memory available there but they are non contiguous they are non contiguous and cannot fill upcoming request from the memory non contiguous here contiguous means adjacent contiguous means adjacent here let's take an example for external fragmentation this is the memory okay process p1 p2 and p5 are there now i want to add process p6 in the queue But as you can see here we have two blank space here theek hai hamare paas space hai it is possible to add p6 but in case of external fragmentation it always follow contiguous algorithm that means process p6 beech mein kabhi bhi enter nahi hoga isko hamesha last mein hi enter hona hai so because here in this type of example in this example there is no space left after that particular process p5 so we cannot we cannot allot process p6 to these two memory blocks so this is the external fragmentation now let's have a look on the difference between internal and external fragmentation so for internal fragmentation unused unused memory blocks are allocated and in case of internal internal fragmentation here our memory is divided into memory is divided into fixed size blocks this is very important statement and in case of external fragmentation varying size blocks are there varying size blocks of memory are there okay internal fragmentation occurs when allocation space is bigger than your need when allocation space is bigger than your need and in case of external fragmentation it occurs at the removal of any process from the memory let's take an example here we have process p1 p2 p3 and p4 here now process p1 wants to enter in the queue but we don't have right now any available space and process p1 ki jo processing hai jo execution hai wo complete ho gayi aur isne apna space khali kar diya so hum p5 ko yahan par enter kar sakte the but enter nahi hoga because external fragmentation mein hamesha jo next value aati hai wo hamesha end mein hi अपना स्पेस चाहती है ये कभी भी बीच में नहीं जाएगी दैट्स व्हाई मैंने आपको कहा कि एक्सटर्नल फ्रेगमेंटेशन अकर्स एट रिमूवल ऑफ अ प्रोसेस फ्रॉम मेमोरी सो जब तक ये पूरा स्पेस खाली नहीं हो जाता तब तक ये फ्रेगमेंटेड फ्रेगमेंटेड स्पेस रहेगा वी कैन नॉट री यूज दिस पर्टिकुलर स्पेस इन केस ऑफ एक्सटर्नल फ्रेगमेंटेशन आई होप एवरीथिंग इज क्लियर टिल नाउ next we have one important question that says in a file allocation system the following allocation schemes are used so file allocation system may we have three allocation schemes one is contiguous indexed and linked allocation which of the following schemes given below given above will not suffer from external fragmentation will not suffer from external fragmentation right so students this is very important question as you can see we have already discussed that external fragmentation follows contiguous space ye kabhi bhi 
बीच के स्पेस में वैल्यूज को ऐड नहीं करता इट वॉन्ट्स ऑलवेज अ कॉन्टिग्यूस स्पेस दैट इज लास्ट ब्लैंक स्पेस इट ऑलवेज वॉन्ट्स और फ्रंट ब्लैंक स्पेस इट ऑलवेज वॉन्ट सो नॉट सफर फ्रॉम एक्सटर्नल फ्रेगमेंटेशन सो वेन एवर वी टॉक अबाउट कॉन्टिग्यूस इट ऑलवेज सफर्स फ्रॉम एक्सटर्नल फ्रेगमेंटेशन बिकॉज बीच में स्पेस था बट प्रोसेस को बीच में नहीं जाना था कॉन्टिग्यूस में प्रोसेस को एंड में ही जाना था सो वेन एवर वी टॉक अबाउट कॉन्टिग्यूस दैट मीन्स वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एक्सटर्नल फ्रेगमेंटेशन बट इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू सेलेक्ट दी नॉट सफर फ्रॉम एक्सटर्नल फ्रेगमेंटेशन टाइप ऑफ एल्गोरिदम नेक्स्ट वी हैव इज इंटरनल सो फाइल्स आर स्टोर्ड हेयर इन नॉन कॉन्टिग्यूस फॉर्मैट non contiguous for, uh, format it always uses some pointers so because it is it uses pointers so it does not suffers from external fragmentation so this is the correct option next is linked allocation so linked allocation is also a non contiguous type of uh, algorithm so it also does not suffer from external fragmentation so here we have the correct answer that is option number correct answer is option number b and c both b and c both never suffers from external fragmentation whenever a process follows non contiguous algorithm that means that particular process may kabhi bhi fragmentation khas taur par external fragmentation nahi hogi next question is which of the following statements are true external fragmentation exists when there is enough total memory space to satisfy a request but the available space is contiguous okay external fragmentation always follows always wants non contiguous hona chahiye that's why this is not the correct option memory fragmentation can be internal as well as external correct one solution to external fragmentation is compaction bilkul sahi one solution to external fragmentation is compaction other than this we have one more algorithm that helps us to uh solve the uh, fragmentation problem whether it is internal or external so here the answer is b and c only right the solution the solution to external fragmentation is compaction and solution to internal fragmentation is best fit block search best fit block search okay next question is which page of paging memory management technique has internal fragmentation so internal fragmentation always occurs when we allocate more space more space than a process needed so the correct answer here is last page so i hope students everything is clear you can see the explanation when a process is divided into fixed size pages there is usually some extra space on last page correct that is the internal fragmentation when there are multiple processes and unused area on their last page may built up to bigger than or equal to the size of one page so there is no external fragmentation in paging so this statement is also very very important so i hope everything is clear so thank you so much